see it's early morning. It's gonna get ready to go to work, get my boots on, get on the road. Uh, wanted to give y'all a little bit of reality this morning. Sometimes when I put out videos, I give the hard facts, and then sometimes I give my opinion on what I think is coming down the road. Uh, what folks believe when they watch my videos is strictly up to them. Today I'm going to give you the hard facts about what's really going on in our food industry and what's happening and what's creating a one world food supply. What I'm getting at folks is there is always something brewing, something in the work somewhere. A few videos back I mentioned how all the dairy farms, the local dairy farms will shut down from grade B to grade A. And now all the grade A farms are shut down. What they are doing, what they want to accomplish by doing this, is to make a factoryized farm strictly ran by the government. Oh, zombie farming, you're taking that a little bit too far. Yeah, I've heard all the jazz before, and I'm sure I'll continue to hear it as long as I'm spreading the word here on this platform. But that's exactly what they want, folks. They want to control every aspect of our lives. You control the food, you control the people. And you can see that by all the food runs and everything that's happened since this so-called pandemic has hit our land. They want to control it all. And they will. They will. As we speak right now, hundreds of farms that's left because there ain't many left i don't even know if we even are in the thousands of dairy farms in the states hundreds of them are dumping their milk right as we speak i brought that info to you before anything ever hit the waves because i seen it i seen it the closest dairy farm to me right here is in white house tennessee that's a pretty good little ways from here and that's a, that's a lot of, quite a few thousands and thousands of people in between here and there. They do not have the supplies to keep the demand. They don't. But what they are going to do is regulate and ration every single bit of it. I don't get on here just to see myself and want to hear myself talk. I get on here to try to help people and try to give people info that they may not get everywhere else. Because when it comes down to farming... When it comes down to the reality of what's going on in this world and what evil and Satan has, has molded into play, so folks like us has to be dependent on the system, well, that's something I'm good at. And that's something that I watch every single day. Some of my videos will be my opinion. I will continue to put those videos out because I want to. I have a right to discuss my opinion with you folks, just like y'all have a right to discuss your opinion with me. But some of the stuff I put out is going to be strictly factual. And this, what I'm telling you now, is facts. I said before, we are in dark times and we are going to continue to get darker and darker. Out on the agriculture market. Watch the food. Watch them regulate the sales of garden products. Watch the milk be rationed. Watch the milk in the dairy farms continue to dump. Watch the egg prices go up. Just watch it all, folks. Watch inflation come in here so bad that nobody will be able to afford these perishable items. Keep watching it. Because as you watch it, it's all crumbling and it's all by their plan. Some people get mad at me when I say their plan. I don't know who they want me to label. Because evil is evil no matter what. I, do I don't look to no man to save me. And no one man is going to fix all of this. Well, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give, oh, first and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wakatadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations for the Hope for Lake Akim that's pushing this word of truth sincerity. So the clip I put up was on Farmer Zombie. So you know how those Edomites, those farm boys are. He was speaking about. Um, the government didn't help out on, on their um, on their farms, and they have no workers to work their farms, so they had to kill off a lot of the cattle. 
So you know what happens when they kill off a lot of cattle on these farms not, and the farms not being maintained, guess what happens? It leads to plants um, that's in high demand of these farms to shut down, okay? So when these meat plants shut down, guess what? Those, those, those meat plants can't supply those truckers that the truckers can deliver, can't deliver the, um, the meat to the supermarkets, okay? All right? And what happens when there's no meat in the supermarkets? It's gonna be what? A famine's gonna come. But guess what? They're gonna, before that happens, what? It's gonna be inflation. They're gonna raise these prices up just like that as that woman, the, that so-called um, black woman was complaining about the prices that was in Apostle Hart's video about the, ch the prices of the chicken. Cause you know a nigga loves chicken, man. But a lot of these plants are closed due because the pork, the pork plants are be closed, and you know a nigga can't leave the swine, man. <laughs> All jokes aside, man. But hey, this was gonna happen. It's gonna lead to a famine. So as you can see, this coronavirus, the so-called coronavirus that's out there, all right, with the, with the so-called white man using a distraction to push the new world order, he trying to have control of the food supply. All right. But guess what? There ain't no food supply. You don't got no workers to maintain it. All right. Why? Because the American people is losing their jobs by the millions, man. I think was it 13 million, 13 million or 30 million. I can't remember, but it was like 13 millions on unemployment. OK, so let me get with the scriptures. This is um, Ecclesiastes 12, verse three. In a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. There ain't not a lot of jobs out here, man. The only jobs that's out here are the essential jobs, like the medical field and the postal field, mail, um, mail service, okay? Mail service, all right? So that's the only ones that's really up right now, and the military, of course. That's why you got a lot of people enlisting in the military right now, because there's no jobs out here. A perfect setup to get more men, more bodies, to get to prepare for that World War Three, all right? So the grounders shall cease low because the jobs are few. So when there ain't no jobs to maintain these farms and these factories, what happens? The demand of food gets higher and higher. And guess what? There ain't no food to go around. And guess what? We knew this. We know a famine is coming, all right? Because the elites, the, the so-called white man, the elites of them, wants to have control of the food industry. For what? to put the squeeze on people right now, all right? For what? To lead into what? The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, okay? Let's keep reading. Um, because they are few and those that took out of the windows, look out of the windows, be darkened. Basically, people who had that so-called New Year's resolution and their future, they have no future here in America, man. The so-called Negro Latino Native Americans have to understand that this is their prison, man. Okay? There ain't no future for you here in Babylon. Let me get it out quick. This is um Micah 2. Let me get that real quick. Bear with me. This is um Micah. Okay. 2 verse 10 Micah, verse, Micah 2 verse 10 Alright Arise ye and depart For this is not your rest And you so called nigga Latinos Native Americans Who are the Israelites Right And your power Who you only call God is Yahweh And you only call Jesus Christ Is Yahweh Shai Alright who, who do you don't Who you not turn to Okay You're, you're thinking this is This is, the, this is it America is your future. This is your this is your resting place, man. You look to the future to like to increase yourself, but right now we're, we're in the beginning of sorrows. Right now, man. Right now, America, Babylon is in a depression. Right now, they say a recession, but it is a depression. Okay, all right. Arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Why is it polluted? Because America was built through the backs. Of you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? You got 
transgenderism going around. You got homosexuality going around. All right. You got to stay in, uh, in your house quarantine for what? Knowing that the sun is your source of energy to heal yourself, man. Okay. But do a typical so-called Negro Latino Native American know that? No, they don't. They don't know that. Okay. So-called white man is taking things away from you little by little. He's taking things of you little by little, and guess what? For the for the um for the um, cause of safety, because the reason for safety, you let him take your rights away, man. But guess what? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, what you don't seem to understand, you nothing but two fifths of a human, and that still stands. Okay, look it up. All right. A rising depart. A rising depart from what? From this from. Arise you depart from this place, Babylon, America. Mentally, man. Okay, mentally. Get get out of this place, man. Alright? America is going to destroy you, man. Alright? And we've been warning you for years about it. Years to return to your father and to the son. Okay? Return and, and know who you are as a people. But guess what? Prophecy has to happen because two-thirds of you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans need to die here in America, man. Okay? And, and the other four parts of the uh, of, of the earth, man. Alright? Micah 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. It's going to... America, which you call Babylon, is going to destroy you. So there's no sense of you looking into your future for what, man? The only future you have is for you to come back to your power, man. That you have enough time to repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're cutting down the pork factories. They're cutting down the chicken factories. Your niggas ain't gonna have nothing to eat, man. And I could tell by going to these supermarkets and I look at your shopping carts. Y'all eat nothing but garbage, man. All I see is Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms and Captain Crunch everywhere, man. Boxes and oodles and noodles, top ramen, quarter waters, sodas, sh uh, Shasta shoulders. I don't see no water. I don't see no toilet tissue. I don't see beans. I don't see rice. All I see is garbage, man. All right. Let's read it again. Micah 2, verse 10. Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. America, aka daughter of Babylon, is not your rest, man. You wanna know you wanna know what's your real home? Your real home is Israel, man. That's where you belong. Okay? But it's telling you mentally depart from this place. Go back to the Father. Know who you are as a people. You got brothers putting out videos right now. Videos through the spirit of your high bashman shy. Putting out beginner videos, who you are as a people, what tribe you from. They putting out that now because we can't be out in the streets. Some some certain of us brothers cannot be out in the streets right now. Okay. All right. So we putting out videos for you could understand, but it's only for the elect first and foremost, man. But we still gotta warn our people. It's our job. All right. There ain't no breaks from here, man. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's go to verse 4. And the door shall be... Sh um, this is Ecclesiastes 12, verse 4. Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament. Okay? Ecclesiastes 12, chapter, verse 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets. What? The places where you work at. The meat packing plant. There's there's a meat packing plant in, in um, Grand Vista in California. Okay? That's going to shut down soon too. All right? There's going to be a domino effect here. All right. Remember what we said months ago to the spirit Yahabash through the spirit Yahabash Shai. It's the beginning of, of, of sorrows, man. This is just the beginning. It's going to get worse. All right. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, meaning the jobs is getting less and less and less. Yeah, you may have a stimulus check. You may have unemployment, but what are you going to spend it on? If there's so much inflation with this food, you're going to be spending all your, your, your checks on food just to survive. And then what happens when you have no more food? What is your money good for? Nothing. It's going to be good for nothing, man. 
It ain't going to have no worth. Food, clothing is the main thing you need. All right? But what happens when that's gone? When the grinding ceases low, everything's going to be gone. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to fight each other for food. And guess what's, what's going to be the next step? Cannibalism. When you start starving to death. All right? Let's read. And the strong men, wait. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. Right now, the music is garbage right now. Right now, you got these celebrities, these RB singers, you you and these rap singers, these so-called rap singers, they they doing shows via Instagram, trying to get money out of people from Instagram. And other source, sources of media. It's garbage, man. No one's paying attention to music right now. Okay? The, the, the whole media right now, the witchcraft that Esau's using is about this COVID-19. Alright? But at the same time, you see these jackasses out there with masks. Another source of witchcraft with the media is pushing on you. Alright? Your, your, your food supply is getting low, Jake. So-called nigga Latino Native Americans, including you so-called average peon um, American Joe six-pack white people, man. Your food is getting low, man. Okay? So there will be a famine coming here to this to this to America, man. Alright. Let's get with the next scripture. This is um Ezekiel 7, verse 15. Because the most side, this is just the beginning of sorrows, man. There will you had the pestilence, all right? You have mornings right now, cause a lot of people dying from this COVID, so-called COVID-19, which I know a lot of it is inflated and is made up. Okay? Just just to keep keep that fear on you people, man. And then guess what? It's working. It's working on you people, man. Alright? Let me get Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7. 7 verse 15 all right ezekiel 7 verse 15 the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die with the sword and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him and what's going on, man? The pestilence starting to devour our people, man. Okay? And soon, a famine will devour our people, man. And what's that sword? Esau, man. Because he got his military staging, the so-called National Guard, and the reserves staging on each county of each state. What to instill martial law, full lockdown on your people, curfews. Okay? If you don't have vaccination, they're going to they test you. In the, on the middle of these um these um uh, these checkpoints, man. All right. If you don't if you don't have a mask on, they're gonna drag your ass into the concentration camp, man. As you can see, what happened in Philadelphia, they dragged Jake off the bus because he didn't have a mask on. All right. So guess what? In the field, you shall die with the sword, and he that is the city, famine, and pestilence shall devour him. There's gonna be a famine coming here to America, folks. And it's coming close. Once those meat meat packing, once those meat factories close, guess what? The supermarket's gonna be low. And guess what? Inflation. They're gonna have one piece of rib is gonna cost you about fifty dollars, man. A chicken wing, chicken wings might cost you about forty-two dollars. Okay, that's what's gonna roll here, man. All right. And guess what? Your supermarkets will shut down too, because the lack of what product? All right. All right. Let's get with the next scripture. This is um. Let me start at. Let me get the apocrypha. This is the apocrypha right here. It comes. This was originally in the King James Bible. Okay, but it's been removed. So you can get this in um Amazon right now. All right. You can order in Amazon. It's only about ten to twelve bucks. All right. Um. Let me get um. I'm gonna get. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, and I'm gonna go on 16th chapter, right? And I'm gonna close it out. You know, I'm gonna get um, in debt with it 
in a few days about this famine, okay? And what's going to cause to cannibalism is going to roll again. There's nothing new under the sun. There will be cannibalism here. It happened in Venezuela, man. It's probably happening now that we don't even know about because they put a, a media block so far on it, all right? This is 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, verse 5, all right? Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And he's bringing plagues, the COVID-19, all right? That's part of the plagues. And guess, and, and there's other plagues that's coming right, right after this, man, okay? Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And, and what's going around the whole world, the COVID-19? The earth is in a whole standstill, the whole world, okay? But that's just a, 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 a misdirection because the so-called white man has this magic little wand and saying, hocus pocus, let me fool the people, okay? All right? He really want to push this new world order and push to pe get people microchipped, chipped and dipped, okay? All right? With the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, According to Revelation 16, chapter, verse 13. All right. Behold, um, you know what? Let me start. Let me start from the top. This is 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And he put the word of this, the, the knowledge of the scriptures. And prophecy in our mouths to what? To warn our people, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, the Israelites. Okay? All right? He put it in our mouth. He didn't put it in your local pastors. He put it within the prophets, man. All right? He gave it unto the prophets because we teach the whole role. All right? Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper. There we go. All right. For they, for they are faithful and true. Haven't they been faithful and true? You got Tommy Sotomayor is talking about the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right. You got you got other whistleblowers out there. When it says the scripture said their tongue shall fall upon themselves, they talk about the mark of the beast. All right. You have years ago about. 30 years ago, you had William Cooper spoke about the mark of the beast. All right, so it, it's here, man. It's here already. I don't, I, I don't know, what's, I don't know what's up with you other guys, man. But you better get with the program and repent, or else it's gonna be too late, man. All right. Um, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity for them that trouble thee that speak against thee. We don't care if you. We don't care about your unbelief. I'm talking. We talking about you, you, you ridiculous ass so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You hard-headed assholes out there, man. So we don't care about your unbelief, man. You can you can still look into that future. I just read through the scripture that the windows shall be darkened. There ain't no future here in Babylon, man. Okay. The so-called white man want to put you in a hardcore slavery and destroy you, man. Can you wake up? What's, look what's going on over there, man. Look what they're saying, that you are the new face of the COVID-19. You got them stupid-ass, mingy-ass, five-pound gooks out there beating on, on Hamites or beating on Israelites right now because they're afraid because they got the coronavirus. It shows you how the other nations and so-called white men feel about your asses, man. So you better get your head out your ass. Don't mind my French, man. You know, I'm just, I'm just a little hyped up right now, all right? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yes, you have a lot of scoffers that speak against the men of the Lord, man. Knowing that the prophecies are popping out the pages and they still scoffing, man. Because pride is a mug, man. Pride is a mug, man. Okay? Our people are too damn prideful. All right? For all the unfaithful shall die on their unfaithfulness. It's talking about you Negroes and Latino and Americans out there that call yourselves Israelites. You're being unfaithful. You have no faith. Okay? 
Y'all still think the mark of the beast uh, ain't uh, ain't the R5D? Uh, the R5D chip ain't the mark of the beast. Y'all still continue with that charade, man. Okay, not knowing there's a famine coming right to your door. Look it up. The media is pushing this. Fa Yo, the so-called white man, the elite, is really through the spirit of Yahab Bashi because he's the left hand. He's a sword. He's doing this famine on purpose, man. Okay? Now let's read. Fifth verse. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Do I got to read it again? Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hopeful works are fulfilled, man. The whole earth is just exceeded with wickedness, man. That's why the Lord is stepping in right now. Okay? He's going to bring a famine to this place, man. And a lot of you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all the food stamps of the world is not going to save you from that hunger, man. It's not going to save you from the famine, man. You will starve here, man. You better repent to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Dude, I... I I'm not saying that the Lord is telling you. How? Because I'm coming out through the scriptures. All right? Let me get 2nd Ezra, the 16th, 2nd Ezra, 16th chapter. Let me start. I'm going to close it out on 21, verse 22. All right? 2nd Ezra, 16, verse 21. Behold, the victual shall, shall be so good, cheap upon earth, yeah, the gas prices are cheap right now. For now. The food is certain foods are cheap now, but guess what? The inflation is starting to hit. Now you're starting to see food starting to mount up right now. It's starting to get expensive. Alright. So they shall think to themselves they'd be in good case. Oh, don't worry, man. You know, Trump says, you know, we're gonna be back and running, uh, you know, late April. Nope. Oh, uh, we're gonna be running on um, in, you know, by by June. Nope. What I'm saying, what it's saying right now, they pushing it might go back to normal September. That's a lie. Through through uh, 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 an employer of mine, because his sister's in the military. I'm not going to say her name, okay? In the military, she said this going to go past the whole. It's going to go the whole year, okay? The so-called white man at least is really moving in right now with this new world order. Their plan is to microchip everybody in this whole world, man. Okay? They're going to they put the squeeze on y'all by making you starve to no choice but to take that chip. Okay? They shall think themselves that should be in good case. And even when, even then shall evils grow upon the earth. It's going to grow, man. Evils shall grow upon the earth. It's going to be race riot soon. Because of the famine, people's going to starve. And guess what? It's going to be nothing but evils. It's going to be killing one another for food. It's going to be cannibalism soon. Okay? Um. And even evil shall grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. The whole world is in a confused state right now, man. You got people who don't believe in the COVID-19. You got people gearing up with weapons to get ready for a, a civil war you got these people believe uh, is still thinking america's going to come back and we're going to go back to normal that's nothing but confusion okay but guess what we as the men of the lord the hopeful elect i'm going to say it again the hopeful elect we're not confused we know what's going on we know what's going to happen why because we have the scriptures we have the playbook all right we know what's going to roll. All right. Okay. Um. Verse 22. I'm going to end it here. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Famine. It's going to be nothing but mass starvation all over the whole earth, man. Purposely. But it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem because prophecy needs to be fulfilled. Did, 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 did Yahweh ever lie? 
Did Yahweh Bashmashah ever lie? No, it's impossible for him to lie. These prophecies new fulfilled, they ain't getting any, they ain't gonna be nothing getting better, man. It ain't gonna be nothing back to normal. All right? You people in America, you American peons, you prideful, you prideful bastards out there, man. Your bubbles got popped right now, man. All right? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger, yeah, you got you got guys out there with their um with their um the um, with the bunk bunkers, the prep the the preppers, and out there they think they're gonna be in good case, but guess what? They're gonna be destroyed, man. All right. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right. And guess what? You're going to be destroyed out there, man. Because people is going to go into your bunkers and kill you in there, man. That's what's going to roll. But how you ultimately going to be destroyed? By those nuclear missiles, man. Those nuclear miss those bunkers is not going to protect you from the nuclear missiles, which is the most size armory. Okay? There's going to be a mass famine going to be soaring throughout this whole earth, man. Especially here in America, Babylon. All right? Okay, and the uh, and brother did a video on that. And I was going to read the verse next scripture, and the dead shall be cast out as dung because there's going to be so many dead bodies all over this earth, man. They're going to have no time to be burying them, man. No time. Why? Because of what? Race riots, the military shooting, shooting Jake down. It's going to be crazy out here, man. Because a lot of things can happen when there's a famine. When a nigga don't have nothing to eat and his and his rib is touch and his stomach's touching his back, he gonna do anything to get food. It's gonna be nothing but massive bloodshed that's gonna happen here in the soils of America, man. All through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, because prophecy needs to be fulfilled. So I just wanna do a quick lesson on that. You know, hope your buzz were edified. I wanna get deep into it. I'm going to get deep into it in another video, what's, what the famine's going to lead into cannibalism real soon. That's why, you know, it's good to watch movies like The Road. Perfect example. Um, Book of Eli, perfect example. So I hope your buzz were edified. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wakak Kadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And peace and salutation for the whole flake Akim that's pushing his word. Till then, Shalom, brothers.